young singer named Justin Moore. We don't do a whole lot of bullshitting up here. We just get up here and play country music. The Justin Moore Podcast is sponsored by Bobcat. Visit them at bobcat.com. All right, I think we're rocking. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Justin Moore Podcast. I'm your old buddy, old pal, JR the Handler, on the other end of the Zoom machine. Today, as always, the one and only Justin Moore. This is the holiday season. What's going on, uh, ho, 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 from Arkansas, Just? What's going on up there? I mean, has it has it been a month? I mean, yeah. it's almost been a month. Right, yeah. Two, three it, weeks? Four it was weeks, before, something it like was before that. Thanksgiving. It was right before Thanksgiving. Um, I feel like a broken record because we say this every time we have an extended amount of time off. Um, if we decide that we're going to can this and not do this again, uh, this being the podcast, I promise you we will come on and tell you, just keep checking in each and every week. Um, We've had a lot going on. Uh, again, I feel like a broken record because we've said this multiple times over the the last two or three years of doing this podcast. We we love doing this, and we're going to continue doing this. Um, but we get busy. JR's had a, a major project going on uh, down in South Alabama, which we can talk about. Um, we just started basketball here. We had Thanksgiving. Um, we're getting ready for Christmas. We've had a lot going on. Uh, we've not wanted to miss you guys for the last three, four weeks, but we have. So apologies, uh, but we're back. Yes. And we should – don't hold us too accountable, but we should be here each week leading up to Christmas – uh, from this point forward, but uh, uh, anyway, I just want to get it th- get that out of the way. Yeah, glad to be back, man. Yeah, it's just you know, I, and I've talked to some people on socials and people who've um, used hashtag Justin Moore Podcast and hit me up on Twitter and uh, Instagram and that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, I just said, man, we've just been slammed with holidays and family. And and, and, and the thing is, like we we we've, we've kind of kept up with it. We've done. I think our our pacing is about uh, for the year now is like every other week. I think we've yeah. done like half of the weeks, so yeah. that's probably a good uh, I don't know measuring stick for what we'll do for the year. Each year is about every other week, and we try to do every week. But again, sometimes we get busy and yeah. You know, you know, have things going on or or our travel with uh, touring is crazy and we don't get to, you know, do do a podcast or whatever. But I just want you guys to know we're not we're not going to leave you and just not tell you. I promise. Yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> oh, for so. sure. Yeah, I um I, I was talking about that. I actually went on um Todd Dink's podcast the other day. I don't, I don't know if it's came out yet or not, but um, every playlist tells a story. Uh, they were doing um, top five songs that you would like to wish you could go back and hear again for the first time, like you'd never heard it before and hear it anyway. So I jumped on there and talked with those guys, but we got to talking about it. And, um, it was their 99th episode. We were talking about how we had started at the beginning, and I said, yeah, when we started this thing, we had nothing going on. We were at home. You know, we didn't know what was going on. And I said, every year it's kind of changed and morphed and this and that. And I said, we're still trying to figure out, you know, with timing back now full time on the road and with the stuff going on. So it's just, you know, he, he was doing his. I think two of the people on it were at home. He was at a hotel room somewhere in Chicago. He had a, he was work venue repping like the uh, the pl- yeah, the, Rose, the Rosemont. To, it's just kind of hard to do. So yeah, so he's like, so we you just guys don't give up there. on us. Yeah, no, no, you know, it was good. So. We had a we got a good report. Cody gave us a good report that came back from Spotify yeah. and all that stuff. It was really interesting. Yeah, for so sure, that was cool. Yeah. Uh, thanks so, everybody for listening. So Jr's been working on. A project back at home. I don't know if you want to talk about that a little bit. Yeah, um, I, uh, he bought some property and has been. Yeah, uh, basically bought some. Uh, yeah, we bought. Uh, Jamie and I got some land over on the uh, Florida uh, Alabama line, and um, 
it's 16 acres it's it's it tucks down into a river a small river there so i've just been out there working on that trying to get it ready i got some friends that want to move in out there and uh kind of help take care of the land and stuff so just been out there just slam basically every day since we've been off the road uh, been out there dealing with that uh along with normal uh catch up this time of the year stuff i hadn't done anything you know usually i remodel the whole studio and all that it's coming it'll probably be january now before that gets happened but um yeah just been slaying i tell you one one uh didn't even talk about because it just happened that was uh amongst everything else it's like this whole this whole year has just been brutal and it just the hits keep coming every time you turn around it's like i can't catch a you know, every light turns red you know it's just one of those this morning brushing my teeth for anybody that doesn't know out there i wear i have a denture i have uh those three front a partial teeth right? partial yeah it's like a partial it's like a denture partial type yeah i've worn it all my life just about uh bb gun accident when i was like 11 yeah tell, i was gonna say tell the story yeah uh shot in the mouth with a bb gun a uh, uh, person playing with a bb gun well a person jamie no it wasn't jamie didn't shoot me Oh, I thought it was Jamie. No, no, it was a it was a friend. Dad was working with this person's ah. pa- this person's dad on a side project on like a weekend, and we were with that kid in the woods. And um, why did I think it was Jamie? He was with me. He was with me, and then um, yeah, they pointed the gun. It, the they pointed the gun at me, and I was like, "Stop!" You know, and they said it's on safety. Don't worry, it's on safety. And about that time, pow! Shot me right in the mouth, went through my lip, and took my front teeth. And people, teeth this out. is like a BB gun. Like so, like a pellet gun. Yeah, don't point any gun. Yeah, no, at don't anybody. ever. Everybody sh- I, and we and that's what uh, Jamie and I were like. That you know, no, it doesn't matter if it's on safe. You don't point a gun, and they were. And like, I oh, tell my matter. my my son who has these little like little play dart guns. I'm yeah, you like, don't need don't to point, point anything. Don't ever point a gun at anybody. Yeah, I'm not talking really. about even these little like dart guns. Or whatever. Yeah, right. And especially in the face and right now and, and that. But anyway, it was you know it, we were kids. It was a different time. But uh, yes, yeah, so anyway, all so that's been forever. I've always had uh, you know the the teeth thing. And uh, this morning brushing my teeth, I broke apart on them, man. So now they're like, I've worn this same one for 20 years or more. I've had it, got it when I was in, at Troy, and it's been great. And uh, uh, we, you know, we've got some dentist buddies and stuff and talked about, you so know, you got to go get a new one implant thing and all that. And I'm always like, hey, I'm good. Yeah. I, well, I don't know. I'm gonna go talk to my dentist. I got a appointment Tuesday. That's funny. You bring that up because Ken, uh, uh Ken pulled a tooth last night, her, her, one of her own, uh-huh. obviously. Uh, and the tooth fairy fell asleep last night. Uh Oh, ah, man. So well, it's been a busy what, year. I don't you know had what some we're storms up there. I had some storms up <laughs> I there. Know, you know, I don't know what weather. we're going to do. But the tooth fairy fell asleep last night and did not remember to pay up. So we got to come wow. up with something. So it's funny you bring that up. But. Yeah. I don't know uh, if there's any uh, side suggestion parents out there that listen on how they yes, get away please. with this. You know, this won't come out to tomorrow. You'll probably be in trouble by then. I've pulled but. it off in the past. I'm like, oh, you, did, you, know, like, you didn't put it under your pillow. You put it on your counter or your uh, end table or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but this was under her pillow, perfectly placed. So we got to come up with something. I, I don't know. Yeah. Um, How old's Ken Ken now? 11? 11, yeah. 11, yeah. So, I mean, she's close to... Yeah, but she still believes. So she's so sweet. Like, you don't want to break her heart. Yeah, I know. man. I feel I, I, it. So I, I went to bed last night. Um, I helped Ella study for her. Um, she's doing uh, Hunter's Ed. So nice. I helped her study yep. for that last night. I went to my our bedroom. I took a shower. Kate was asleep. I took a shower. Hey, there's a there's a number that'll stay with you your whole life. Your hunter education number. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we still have, you have to have to and use I, it if you get something. If you get a little, so uh, you know, that's Ella's funny. twelve. I did it when I was twelve. I remember it was a little yeah. orange card. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. Uh, so, and I don't have it anymore. I wish I did, but I had to use the number for something recently for some kind of something somewhere. My hunter really? education number. I swear, yeah, yeah I don't get have a the license card. or something. It's the same little yellow card. Yeah, a tag or so or something. Mine somewhere, was maybe. a little orange one. Yeah, uh, but so uh, and I found it. You can find your number, obviously. Anyway, so, so I helped her study. I go up. I take a shower. Uh, Kate's in bed. I get in my 
my bed and I'm like, all right, I'm tired. I'm going to go to sleep, whatever. I got to get up at 5.30 to do the radio show. And I thought to myself, I've got to be Tooth Fairy. And I'm out. And I Uh-oh. wake up at like 5.30 and I go, oh, no. And it was too late. She was up. And I'm like, Uh-oh. oh, man. Uh-oh. So I'm sure we have parents out there who have went through some over sure. overslept being santa or tooth fairy or whatever so send us some stories about yeah. that but, but like i'm like God. so i'm like she's got a basketball game tonight i got a coach and her and client actually but and I'm, I'm thinking like what am i gonna say to her when she gets home like oh it, it fell behind the bed or yeah i, mean, I don't know i mean i don't I don't know what to do. Like, right. You know, I might have to write, might have to write so, a note, say, say he was, uh, yeah, he was stuck maybe. in traffic, I don't, you know, I don't had know. a little weather problem. Yeah. Got his wings clipped. Yeah. Or hers that, I'm, or I'm sure, I'm sure you're not the only one. I'd be interested to see what, how, what some other, uh, uh, maneuvers people use to, to fix that situation. That'd be interesting though, too, just general stuff like that, that y'all have to deal with. Cause think about that. How many, I just thought about like movies and stuff. Think about like somebody who, who's, got to get this certain president waits a little too long and then it's not available you can't find one you know kind of thing oh, no. i'm sure that's i'm sure people have really like they show it in the movies but i bet people in real life have went to some lengths to try to get certain stuff because they waited too long or something like that you know what i mean or just thought oh yeah mm-hmm. so and so will get you one and then don't realize oh yeah you can't get those <laughs> you right, know what i mean right. <laughs> it's like yeah somebody somebody not knowing anyway well hopefully you figure something out i don't know like i said the uh, a nice note in, in in his handwriting might be something I don't know, or hers. Yeah, I don't know. I I got to figure something out. Yeah. So anyway, but yeah. Because so that's uh. She just that's, lost a tooth like a month ago, and was suspicious over that one. So I'm like, ah, oh, come on, Jay. Like, dang yeah. man, like that was ah. Yeah, it's tough. My bad. You got a bunch of teeth to keep up with. <laughs> <laughs> bunch of and this one was a crown like the silver crown oh. the whole th- i'm like Ugh. bonus totally totally blew it but wow. anyway so well how did the ball game go last night um ella was cheering um uh, which is weird like see when i was growing up like all my friends played sports and if you if you cheered you weren't an athlete nowadays has changed like the athletes cheer which is totally different from for me yeah and so yeah they 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 won both games that she cheered at um uh so ella's played two games they're two and oh um it's the first year i haven't coached her because she's in junior high yeah um seventh grade seventh grade team um seventh and eighth i I still coach ken and klein uh ken and klein both had a jamboree this past saturday ken was ken's team won uh both games uh, Klein's team lost both games. We only have like one score on that team, um, but Ken and Klein both play tonight, so we'll see. And, and, and with Ken's team, we're playing um, a team that's pretty good. But this is the first year you'll love this. This is the first year we can press full court. Oh, so wow. we're pressing full court like run and jump. Wow. That's going to be some chaos. And so but it's fun because yeah. we're good defensively. Like offensively, we'll go like 4 for 400. Wow. We'll get good looks, Can't but we don't them. make any of them. Right. Uh but we're going to get like 75 steals. Right. You know what I mean? Like Yeah. It's kind of funny, but uh, and Kim plays up at the top of the the uh, 
run and jump press. So that's awesome. Well, hopefully but we she'll, play oh, a, a team tonight that's got two really good ball handlers. So we'll see how we do. I don't know. Yeah, hopefully she can. Uh, hopefully she's at the. She can get some steals and off the lead and learn how to make some layups. We were out there yeah. practicing. She's gotten better. I mean, you know, what could they yeah. full, shoot on full size goal? Ken and them. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and a real girls tough. ball and yeah. It's still ten foot, still up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. for an 11 year old yeah that's what i'm saying yeah yeah i didn't play you know we it was different where i grew up we played i didn't play organized basketball to eighth grade uh before we had any kind of organized basketball see i played from the time i was like five yeah we had football and baseball that was all we had yeah see we had basketball and baseball we didn't have football because we weren't big enough mm-hmm that was it. And then once you got junior high, you had everything, track, you know, weightlifting, uh, I mean, all kinds of different stuff. But not that many compared to now. I mean, we didn't have soccer. We didn't have hockey, obviously. We didn't have swimming. We didn't have, you know, we had a golf team finally. We didn't have eighth grade until that coach just came along. We used to just have junior varsity B team and high school basketball. And then we wow. just had a – Coach Welch came to town and started the eighth grade team. And I was uh, as tall as I am now right then so worked to my advantage that year or two <laughs> it was all downhill uh well, i actually went speak. uh played it played outside the other day uh, i still got it so don't fade out there folks i'll be back <laughs> i'm trying to uh I, i'm hoping after this hope i get slowed down out there working at the land i can get in uh, get back in the gym some and get ready for next year i want to kick off next year rock and hopefully run into some of the other guys that want to play on on the road since we're kind of that's what we were talking about earlier like with the podcast hey, schedule, it's – Don't try us. Yeah. But going back to uh, full-time on the road, full-time, full-time, you know, still was an adjustment coming off of the last couple of years. So, um, over the next year, maybe it'll be back to normal, normal as far as our travel schedule. Everything else is still going to be weird, but at least our we'll be used to our schedule again and stuff. Yeah, and I know. Sure. Uh, I know we've announced some dates and stuff, so everybody needs to go on and make sure to go to justinmoremusic.com. Uh, look at any dates we dropped. Um, I know the. I looked on the charts. I was gonna. I may do that if you want to. I don't know if you want to talk about sports or we could go through some uh, Q and A stuff and different things. I have. Uh, I had the charts. I know uh, you being whiskeys on the charts this week, um, and might have some news coming out soon about a video maybe or something. I heard. Yeah, we got a. Uh, we're shooting one here in like. Oh four days three days something like that uh which we haven't shot a video and i don't know four singles three singles something like that so this will be the first single that we shoot a video for in in a while so uh looking forward to it yeah, I was, um, I, and we've got different, uh, I had some different comments and stuff on that, so I'm trying to go through here. I've got them all spread out. Sorry, gang. Um, if you want to hit on that, we could do that for a minute, or we could, uh, sorry, gang, still trying to get this figured out, too, as well. I've got a bunch of stuff. Boy, it's, yeah. like you talk about busy, and I'm just looking through my, uh, my phone screen or sh pictures I've taken over the last month or two. Unbelievable. Y'all have a game today? Yeah, two. Klein and Ken. Kleiny, how's she doing? She's good. She's uh I don't know anybody out there that has a an eight year old, but like she's a little whiny at this <laughs> point. But she's doing good. Kleiny. Today's episode is sponsored by Bobcat. If you're like me, you don't like to sit still for very long. You look out the window and see possibilities. What if I planted a row of trees over there? It'd be nice to clear that trail in those woods. That's why Bobcat equipment is so great. Its compact size, powerful performance, and big-time versatility will keep up with all your ideas for your property. 
with a few attachments or implements and a bobcat tractor for example you can do big things in small amounts of time it's perfect for me when i have a break from touring or recording take a look at tractors utility vehicles mowers and more at bobcat.com or pay a visit to your local dealer hey what's up guys justin moore here i want to remind everyone out there listening uh, that my wife Kate has an awesome children's clothing boutique in downtown Benton, Arkansas, at Central Arkansas. So if you're local, come see us at 119 West South Street in downtown historic Benton, Arkansas. Uh, again, that's 119 West South Street in Benton, Arkansas. And if you're not local, we ship everywhere. So uh, you can find us at shopthislittlepiggy.com and see all that we have to offer. All that my wife Kate has to offer, I should say. Facebook, you can find us at Shop This Little Piggy AR. And Instagram, you can find us at Shop This Little Piggy AR. But check us out. It's called This Little Piggy. And uh, see what we got to offer. ShopThisLittlePiggy.com. Hi, y'all. This is Brandon Bing, singer, songwriter, and whiskey maker. You're tuning into the Justin Moore Podcast. Visit EasyLiquor.com to grab your bottle of Bangtail Whiskey and join the Blue Collar Swaller family today. Follow us on all socials at Bangtail Whiskey for more news and updates. Now pour Jigger and take this a second ride with us. Hey gang, as y'all have heard, the Just More podcast has recently teamed up with Wrangler. Wrangler has been an icon in authentic American style around the world for more than 70 years. With a rich legacy rooted in the American West, Wrangler commits to offering unmatched quality and timeless design. As y'all have heard me and Justin talk about on here, George Strait, Alan Jackson, they're Wranglers. We wear Wranglers, too. Its collections are also f- for men and women, children, to look and feel great, inspiring those who wear them to be strong and ready for life every day. Wrangler is available in retail stores worldwide, including brand flagship stores in Denver and Dallas, department stores, mass market retailers, specialty shops, Western Outfitters, and online. For more information, visit Wrangler.com. And you know you've heard it here. And you've seen it on stage, the Justin Moore podcast. Dang glad to be partnered up with Wrangler because we're big fans and have been for a long, long time. Can't go wrong with a nice pair of Wranglers, y'all. I wear the Wranglo Retro. Uh, Justin wears the black one some. It's just, it's my go-to. I get mine at Academy. So if you're uh, around an Academy or just about anywhere, you can get you a pair of Wranglers, whether you want to look like George Strait, you want to look like JM, or you want to look like me. You can get you some Wranglers and you can do that. Whether you're in North California or South Alabama or Montana, Texas, Ohio, Wyoming, wherever, a pair of Wranglers will get the job done. Long live Cowboys and Plowboys. For more information, visit Wrangler.com. Um, here's one I got uh, talking about just that, Patrick King. I got my Spotify wrapped today. Uh, Justin Song with Priscilla Block made my top songs of 2022. That's how much I've listened to it. Justin did it again. That's from Patrick King. Uh, Mike Herball uh, posted his. It was his top uh, podcast for 2022. And uh, the Justin Moore podcast was his number one podcast for last year. So that was cool. He had some other cool ones on here I want to check out. Legends of the Old West. This guy's probably in some cool stuff. Um, Let's see. Here we go. Uh, This is from Jared Hayes. didn't see that com- coming again was top 0.5 percent listeners of justin moore on spotify this year my mission for next year is to be the number one listener on spotify he said i wasn't surprised though because uh justin moore has been number one on my spotify rap seven years running him and kip moore have been on my top five every year uh hashtag justin moore podcast that was jared hayes wow. on twitter yeah those things were cool um oh here's something uh and we, we we'll do this put this in the break and I, i'm sure we already do um but uh jason uh feith um on instagram said send a link for kate's store with the holidays i'll have my group share it and give some people some ideas on stuff because i know i've looked at some stuff recently for some family members they do have a bunch of cool stuff let's make sure we post that up for the holidays and maybe um we can um we can get kate on to talk about maybe some holiday stuff next episode or two holiday season yeah, i'm sure because sure. i'm i'm sure the online stuff is still rocking i haven't watched much news lately so i don't know about how all that's working i know for years it has been but i did hear people are going to stores more now also heard people are stealing from stores more than ever now 
but uh, I bet online shopping still going to be big for a long, long time. Oh, yeah. Oh, this was cool. We talked about this. We I texted you about this the other day. I didn't get to see it because um, I was out there working. But um, about Bryce Leatherwood on The Voice uh, doing a cover of If Heaven Wasn't yeah. So Far Away. Uh, apparently did a really good version of it. Um, got a good response from the crowd. Did you get to watch it? Do you watch that show? I, ever? I just saw the they? video. But, yeah, he did a great job. Did he? I, I, I thought it was really good. Yet. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not super – familiar with him or um i don't watch the voice but uh yeah, I, he did a great job that's awesome yeah i've Charissa has every now and then if we're home she'll have it on but uh same not normally um uh, unfortunately i'm usually just on mondays i'll be lucky if i catch the news on by the time it goes off um on that hey, yeah I, he I did take, he, he, he did good it was good I got something here I want to give a shout-out to, um, um, to Casey Pintar um, for hooking me up and getting me in um, uh, as a Tennessee Squire with the Jack Daniels uh, Distillery over in Lynchburg. Very cool. Uh, thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. I got this in the mail. It was very fancy, very cool. I'm going to put my Tennessee Squire deed here up. Um, it basically, uh, I own one-inch square of land in Tennessee now, just I own land there. Can I get my mail shipped there and get them tax tax breaks? Uh, but that was pretty cool. Want to yeah, give a no, shout out to him. No, uh, <laughs> what well, they got state or uh, income tax? No state tax. Yeah, yeah. I'll take that. But anyway, that was very cool. Thank you, buddy. Um, appreciate you as always. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being a buddy outside of that hopefully uh we get to get you on again at some point and maybe we'll do something like that next year we'll do another uh fan thing and have a fan on to um come on and do a episode with us um i was just going through my stuff here and i'm looking through christmas stuff and y'all got a bead on christmas yet just i know uh you said the other day i was trying to get y'all were trying to get some shopping done um, here's the thing with us we're completely done with shopping which we've never been this early, which is awesome. Like we're we're completely done with the kids. That's great. Like, That's have crazy. you ever been done this early shopping? Uh, we we never have. Right. No. Normally, I and I'm normally I'd always pick stuff up on the, the way. Thing. For years, Notorious coming off the road, I would just uh, stop at Cracker Barrel on the way to Grands and get everybody a gift. That was normally my routine a lot of years there. Um, and yeah, this year, Sharice and I are, idea. Yeah, I know, right? It always worked. Everybody was always happy. What do you get right. people who got everything they need? That's what I always say. What the hell am I going to get somebody that they ain't already got? Right. Don't already, if, you know, if I know somebody needs something they're not expecting, I'll get that. But most people, I mean, I know, you know, just we got, we got too much crap anyway. That's what my mom always says. Don't get me nothing. I got too much anyway. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're, uh, we, we usually are the, the couple that goes like Christmas Eve and gets stuff for our kids and we're completely done, which is, it feels be a not- foreign to be honest yeah. with you. Are y'all going to do a big, are y'all going to have people over and cook at your house and do all that stuff this year? Oh yeah. Oh, so yeah. that'll give you more time to deal with that since you've already got shopping out of the way. Yeah. Oh, you get yeah. anything? Is any or any of them wanting anything crazy? Anybody wanting a chicken coop or a um, no? Uh, that's horse the thing. Or like our our kids want nothing. Like they want like shoes, clothes. I mean nothing like like major, like really nothing really expensive or whatever. That's awesome. So, it's a good you yeah. got a good year. Yeah, it's good. How um, are y'all expecting a, um, a a cool, cold, snowy uh, Christmas this year in Arkansas? How's the weather been? I know the day uh, said it was it's rainy. It's 75 degrees right now. So. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. D- down here, it's it's been 80 this week yeah. down here. So, I don't think. So, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm know. hoping it stays that way because I don't like cold weather. But I'm same with you. Hey, speaking so, of warm, speaking of warm weather, um, our basketball teams have had a, a stroke of warm weather in, in um, their tournaments. They went off and played, and getting back, we're respectively ranked uh, Alabama number eight, and Arkansas number nine 
uh, right now in college basketball. That's pretty cool. It is, but Arkansas, we had our arguably our best player just tore his ACL and is out for the year. Oh, no. Which one? We can't. Why can't we have nice things in Arkansas? Wow. We just can't have our 6'10 three man. Let me repeat that. Our 6'10, 6'10 three man. Tears his ACL. Tore his ACL. Out for the year. Well. I mean, we're still going to be really good. But that's but things. We, we just lost a unicorn. Yeah. The dude could guard one through five, hit the three ball from the outside, 6'10", and could play well, point guard, Jr. This uh This Saturday, we both you, – you guys play Oklahoma, which they're 7-2. They're not ranked, but that uh, should be good. We've got to play number one, Houston. Yeah. That'd be two number one. Jr. We, we just year. lost a six ten three man. It happens. That's what you, you know. Available is the best attribute. You know it sucks. Uh, I know. Your best ability is availability. Yeah. So he's not going. He won't be. He'll be out the whole season. Yeah. And I'm telling you, we were probably the favorites to win it all. Like we we. Had a good team. Do, hey, you still do. Got to. Hey, that just gives somebody else an opportunity to step up. We still got a know. good team, but we we don't have another six ten guy who can play a three. We don't have that guy who can, we can plug in. Yeah. Well, best of luck to him on the rest of the season. I know I'm going to keep up. I'm going to hopefully get to watch some of that game Saturday, and then uh, got the Army Navy game this weekend. That's always fun. Um, yeah. And congrats to uh, everybody on their seasons this past year in college football. Looking forward to some bowl games now. And uh, congrats to my Troy Trojans for winning the, the Sun Belt. Yeah. Um, dominating fashion. Ten good, wins. Good uh, ten or eleven. I believe, yeah. Ten win season at least. What was Troy knew that? I was thinking right. it was eleven if they didn't have that uh, – Hell Mary, yeah that and that that one stung against App State. Yeah, beat Coastal Carolina handily, uh, eleven and two. On eleven, the okay, eleven and two. So congrats to them. Uh, Hussey wanted me to come up to the game this uh, past weekend and go to that game, but I didn't get to make it. Um, I hope to get to go up that way soon though. I was looking through. I know I've got to do – I'm going to go back on uh, Christmas week. Every playlist tells a story uh, to do the top five uh, Christmas songs um, everybody has. And I found uh, – I didn't know Rock Kilo had wrote this song, a song on uh, – he wrote a bunch of songs for Sammy Kershaw. He's a buddy from down here. Um, but Sammy Kershaw's Christmas Time's A-Coming. That is a good Christmas album from 1994. Christmas Time's Coming. Christmas time's coming. You ought to hear, you, yeah. you, I don't know if you remember that song, Daddy Stuff. Go no. back and listen to it. It's pretty good. You'd like it, um, especially now with having girls you own. Um, but that was one Rock wrote, and he had posted something about it, and I went back and downloaded that whole CD or you know album and thought, man, that was a good country record. Huh. And then before we started the show today, I was listening to Aaron Neville's Soul for Christmas from 93. Uh, Aaron Neville, good Christmas stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. It's about that time. So yeah, yeah. that's that's your Reese's favorite. What's oh your, yeah, what's, that's what's, that. That's right. That's her jam. What's y'all's uh, What's y'all's Christmas uh, music like around your house? Kate's is uh, uh, Mariah Carey. Oh yeah, me me. But I'm Mariah more of like the. Uh, Sinatra, yeah, classical. Bing Crosby, kinda, all that, yeah, the yeah, old that school. kind of stuff, yeah. right? Traditional, like, yeah, what you yeah. think of? Yeah, me too. I like it all. I love. I just put it on that station, like in November, whatever station's the one locally that's gonna play all Christmas all year. I right. just let it rock, and then I'll do some experiment. Uh, 
um, Louis Armstrong's uh, New Orleans Christmas. I downloaded that. Oh uh, yeah, the other day that that was that's what I was gonna say. I was um, thinking from now we do the uh, since I download so many dang songs or albums um, every week we'll talk we'll drop a couple of albums I've recently downloaded. That's my two from this week. Christmas times are coming by Sammy Kershaw and uh, Louis wishes you a cool Yule. Um, Louis Armstrong's Christmas album, both those fantastic. Um, so check those out. But besides that, we've been off the road, and uh, we're not going back out on the road until February, so you don't have any shows to talk about. But I was going to let everybody know again to go on justinmoremusic.com and check out the tour dates we do have posted, announced already. Uh, you can check in on all that kind of stuff there. Um, use the hashtag Justin Moore Podcast when you interact with us on social media. I'm at JR the Handler on Instagram and Twitter. That's at Justin Colmore on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, won't be again PSA here. No side texting or uh, DMing about money or information. Or we don't have a manager account and anybody that's going to reach out to you for anything. It's just us doing this. So, and uh, go to the Instagram page for the Justin Moore Podcast uh, and like that. Uh, and uh, that way you can get all the updates there when we're going to drop episodes and things like that. Uh, but send us any questions and comments you guys got. Anything you want to talk about for Christmas, we'll get on that. We're going to do some. We're going to line up some other cool stuff to do over the next few weeks. So uh, stay tuned. And uh, yeah, we're not going nowhere. We'll be back. It's been fun. It's been busy. I know. Um, I got to go here in just a few hours to the Floribama employee uh, function deal for a couple hours. So um, I got to get some stuff done around here for that. Sharice is at work. Just busy, busy always. Yeah, we should be able to. I'm thinking like we shoot the video for you, me, and whiskey. I don't know, four days, five days, something like that. Yeah, like maybe Monday we get, uh, maybe we get uh, Priscilla on for that. Yeah, see if she's available. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, see if she wants to come on next week. So we'll see. Yep, sounds like a plan. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's going to be. I don't know when this is dropping, but I'm sure they got everything covered. But yeah, we're going to get on that video uh, this end of this weekend. And then uh, we'll be back here next week uh, with some more updates and Christmas stuff and fun holiday things. And uh, if y'all think anything you guys want to talk about, use the hashtag Justin Moore Podcast um, and send us your questions and comments. Um, as always, we appreciate y'all. It's not too late. If you want to go to jrthehandler.com and order some swag uh, for Christmas presents, or also at uh, or justinmoremusic.com, you can go to merch page and get all the merch that we sell at the shows um cds any kind of uh, and a lot of stuff we don't sell at the shows you can order off justin's website so y'all go check those out still time to get those for christmas and uh thanks for tuning in glad to be here um uh, hope everybody has a safe and happy holidays and we'll talk to y'all next week see you cheers this episode was brought to you by bobcat check them out at bobcat.com for any of you first time listeners out there at the end of each of our episodes uh, I like to do a little reading out of a book I've had that I've got a lot of use out of over the years. Uh, the book is by Mr. Charlie Daniels, uh, and the book is called Let's All Make the Day Count, The Everyday Wisdom of Charlie Daniels. First Impressions. Man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. Samuel 16, 7. There is an old story in my hometown about a newsboy who sold papers on the street and went to a car dealership one day. He was totally ignored by the sales staff in the belief that waiting on him would just be a waste of time since he obviously couldn't afford one of their cars. Well, as it turned out, he really didn't want a car. He wanted a pickup and had no trouble purchasing one from the other competitor down the street. I can't vouch for the validity of this story, whether true or not. There is a lesson to be learned here about judging people by their outward appearance. Martin Luther King Jr. said it so well when it comes to judging others. To do so, not by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. The world still suffers from skin deep and superficial evaluation of human beings without any idea of who they really are. Their conscience, their compassion, or even their intentions. Old and harmful prejudices, superstitions, and refusing to acknowledge that all men are created equal, skin color, ethnicity, social or financial status, nonwithstanding, still plague the human race. It's called bigotry, and it's like a 
cancer eating away at the peace and well-being of society. The Bible says we will be judged in the same way we judge others. I like to think my best parts are on the inside. I owe it to others to feel the same way about them. Let's all make the day count.